Hello friends, welcome, welcome. Today, we are going to travel through time. We want to see how people in different countries lived thousands of years ago. We are going to visit the people of these countries. Can you guess the countries from their maps? Let's begin. Is this country Egypt, Saudi Arabia, or Jordan? The correct answer is Egypt. What about this country? Is it Iraq, Lebanon, or Syria? The correct answer is Syria. And the final country is this country, Cyprus, Lebanon, or France? It is Lebanon. Well, to find out how people lived in these countries a long time ago, continue watching the episode. Hello friends, welcome back. Are you ready to watch how ancient people, ancient means people of hundreds and thousands of years ago, lived in the countries mentioned earlier? Watch the video. Thousands of years ago. Thousands of years ago, many people who lived around the Mediterranean Sea did not look like we do now. They did not dress like us, live like us, or even talk like us. In Egypt, for instance, people used to bury their kings, called pharaohs, in pyramids. They buried them with their treasures. Egyptians used to build their towns around the Nile because it was their main source of water. Egyptians had very special writings called the hieroglyphics. They used pictures in their writings. They used to write on a form of paper called the papyrus. Guess where else they used to write? On the walls! Lebanon and Syria were called Phoenicia. Phoenicians were master shipbuilders. They loved the sea and they had excellent wood from the cedar trees. So they built ships. Neighboring countries used to come to get wood from the cedar trees of Lebanon and to buy ships from the Phoenicians. Phoenicians were also the first people ever to create letters, the alphabet. Did you like the video? Let's see what you have understood from it. Write your answers in the comment boxes. Who called their kings pharaohs? Question number two. Who created the first alphabet? Have you answered? All right, now we will focus on the text. Let's read the first paragraph. Thousands of years ago, thousands of years ago, many people who lived around the Mediterranean Sea did not look like we do now. They did not dress like us, live like us, or even talk like us. What do you think this paragraph is telling us? This paragraph is telling us that the people who lived thousands of years ago, right where we are right now, were different. What do you think the writer will do next? Let's read another paragraph to find out. In Egypt, for instance, people used to bury their kings, called pharaohs, in pyramids. They buried them with treasures. All right, here's a question. Does Egypt still have a pharaoh? The answer is no. Egypt today has a president. Let's continue. Egyptians had very special writings called the hieroglyphics. They used pictures in their writings. They used to write on a form of paper called the papyrus. Guess where else they used to write? On the walls. Well, what do you think? 
Do Egyptians still use hieroglyphics to write? No. What language do they use to write today? They use Arabic. And where do they write? Do they write on walls and papyrus? Well, maybe some people write on walls for design, but we do not use walls and papyrus as copybooks and books, right? What do they use? Like everyone else, they use papers, copybooks, or books. Maybe even technology, like laptops and tablets. So what is the writer doing in this paragraph? The writer is trying to explain how Egyptians who lived in Egypt thousands of years ago were different from Egyptians who live in Egypt now. Let's move on to a new lesson. Today, we are also going to focus on some special words. Mediterranean Sea, Egypt, Egyptians, Phoenicia, Phoenicians. What is special about these words? A, they are names. A better way to name them is nouns. B, they all start with capital letters. What does this mean? It means that they are proper nouns. Proper nouns mean special names of people and places. When we say special names of people, it doesn't necessarily mean names like Wered or Sami. Special names of people could be people belonging to a special place, like Italy, for example. People from Italy are called Italians. People from Spain are called Spanish. People from China are called Chinese. People from Mexico are called Mexicans. Egyptians refers to people from a special place called Egypt. That is why Egyptians is capitalized as well. Phoenicians are a group of people that are from Phoenicia. That's why the noun Phoenicians is capitalized. Not all people from all countries are called Egyptians or Phoenicians, just like not all rivers in the world are called the Nile. Remember that we also capitalize the names of special places, like the River Nile. The Nile is a special river. That is why it is proper. Another example is seas. Not all seas in the world are called Mediterranean. That is why the Mediterranean Sea is a proper noun as well, and so capitalized. Now, let's look at this special word. Pharaoh. Why do you think the word Pharaoh is not capitalized? Well, the word Pharaoh is like the word king. Now let's look at an interesting word in history. Egypt has had many pharaohs and many countries in the world have had many kings. That is why the words Pharaoh and king are not proper nouns. But when we mention a special name of a pharaoh or a king, we capitalize like this. Pharaoh Ramses II and King Abdullah II. Of course, there have also been many female pharaohs and queens, like Cleopatra and Queen Elizabeth. Well, friends, that's all for today. I hope you learned a lot of things about ancient people and proper nouns. I will see you next time. Until then, stay safe and be good. Bye. لمشاهدة المزيد من الحلقات زوروا سات سفن بلاس